Hello. Uh, thank you for choosing to spend your next 15 minutes with us. We do, we do appreciate it and the chance to tell the story about Blue Rock and to int introduce you to Blue Rock and our mission, which is to repair the body when it cannot repair itself, to effectively reverse degenerative disease. So there are hundreds of millions of patients worldwide today that suffer from degenerative diseases where the core, the root cause of that disease is the loss of a functioning cell. And after that cell is lost, the devices, the drugs, the medicines that we develop are relatively ineffective because they act at the cellular level. We cannot invent a medicine today that is as exquisite as the four billion years of evolution that produced the cell. The sensing, manufacture, quality control, and in situ delivery of a cell, it's simply exquisite. Our goal is to harness the power of that cell as a medicine. And simply put, in those degenerative conditions where that cell is lost, we intend to uh, restore the missing or degenerate cells, replace the missing or degenerate cells, and by so doing, restore the native biologic and reverse the degenerative disease. We are uh, building a platform cell therapy company with, we believe, some disruptive potential. First, we're an allogeneic cell therapy platform. What we mean by that is that we're an induced pluripotent stem cell therapy company with, uh, where our mission is to manufacture and deliver and to stably engraft long-term that essential protagonist cell that was lost. Um, our strategy to achieve the allogeneic strategy is both to modify the cell and to modify the patient. And we'll talk more with you as we go forward about how we're gonna do that. One example is an exciting partnership we announced yesterday, just yesterday with Universal Cells, where you can edit the HLA profile of the cell. Um, so we, we, allogeneic pluripotent stem cell company. We have a diver diversified portfolio that includes um, a focus on previously intractable neurodegenerative or degenerative conditions. Um, our focus today is in cardiovascular and in neurodegenerative disorders, and we will have an IND as early as or in 2018 that I'll tell you about in just a moment in Parkinson's. We have, I think, we're blessed with some of the best talent in the industry. I'll tell you about our scientific founders, uh, world-class scientific founders, a seasoned or the beginnings of a good management team, and. Uh, leading cell biology, process science, and manufacturing capabilities. And, and finally, you know, we, we think we're pretty well positioned to execute on this vision. We recognize it's a very bold vision, um, but we think we're pretty well positioned to do that. We have a $225 million Series A financing behind us in just early, uh, at the end of last year. We have the insight of our strategic partners, Verson and Bayer, on our board, and um, all the strength that that top-tier venture capitalists and top-tier venture capital and top-tier pharma company bring. And finally, um, given that though, we are an independent biotech with the ability to execute on the strategy as we see fit. I'll just point up here some of the people you might bump into in the room in the last six to eight months, um, what we've been able to accomplish building the team. And I'm very honored to call some of these people my teammates. Um, you'll see Bob Deans and Eric Solar here in the audience, as well as Dr. Tracy Lodi and Michael Scott. Uh, people like Tracy, who, you know, I, if you challenge me, I'm not sure I would spell immunology correctly, but she is a card-carrying immunologist. Uh, Michael Scott, with years of product development experience, device experience, and in the pluripotent stem cell space. Bob and Eric. Uh, Derek High, who's arguably the most experienced person in the world in manufacturing a pluripotent stem cell under GMP conditions. So it's really been an exciting time um, building the team. But the nucleus, or you might say the bedrock for Blue Rock, is our scientific founders. They are Dr. Gordon Keller and Dr. Lawrence Studer, and we'll tell you a little bit more about them later in the deck. Our, I think, um, and those are our academic founders, our founding investigators, Michael Laflamme, who's a world leader in preclinical pre models for cardiovascular disease, stem cells, and Vivian Tabar, a neurosurgeon who's, been, who's spent her life focused on the translation of stem cells in neurodegenerative disorders. And we'll tell you a little bit about those people. But I think it's safe to say that that page right there, um, I am really honored to to be part of that team represents one of the highest cited uh, citation index ripples in the stem cell space. Um, how do we translate those research activities into products? We have a distributed research and a centralized product development and process development and manufacturing. So we put research laboratories right up against the research uh, against our um, founders, Gordon Keller and Lawrence Studer, and then we have centralized product development and manufacture in Toronto. 
Um, we have partnerships we've announced with UHN and McEwen and CCRM that gives us access to all of the, uh, the, uh, the, the core competence as well as Sloan Kettering in New York, uh, long-term GMP access in Toronto and in New York. Um, and finally, Cambridge, where the, uh, the, the headquarters is and where management and arguably the epicenter for biotech today. Um, it's really fun to be within a stone's throw of 500 or other biotechs. Our pipeline today um, is focused on two areas. And as we go forward in future meetings, we'll tell you about how we're going to expand this pipeline, what else, we'll, what else we'll add. But today, neurodegenerative disorders and cardiovascular, our lead indication, which is, would be the focus of the talk here, is um, Parkinson's disease. We have three undisclosed uh, indications we'll tell you about more as we go forward. And in cardiovascular disorders, congestive heart failure and also an undisclosed uh, indication there. In pluripotent stem cell-derived neural cells for neurodegenerative disorders, the nucleus for this program is Dr. Lawrence Studer. He's um, arguably the world's leader in this space. He invented the method in 2010 and in 2011 and published the recipe for how to make a neuron from a stem cell. It's called dual SMAT inhibition, and it's arguably the way that everybody uses to make a neuron. Um, he's a MacArthur Genius Award fellow, reci recipient over 150 publications, and he's just a brilliant guy and a, and a, gr and a great, great man. Uh, Vivian Tabar, an, an accomplished neurosurgeon focused on pluripotent stem cells and translation, and she leads our Parkinson's program from the surgical perspective and is a world leader in her own right. And what I'll spend the next few minutes talking to you about is that Parkinson's program. We also have a strong pipeline of other cell types under the umbrella of Dr. Studer and Tabar's expertise, that, um, some of which I listed on that pipeline slide and many others in, in uh, research phase. So Parkinson's disease. Um, there are over 10 million people worldwide that suffer from the disease. It's one in um, 100 people over 60 today. It's the root cause of the disease is the loss of dopamine secreting cells in the midbrain, that metronome that's pulsing in the middle of your midbrain in pretty much everyone in this room, I'm sure, and that controls your motor function. And when that cell is lost, you lose motor control. There's also non-motor symptoms, um, which you can read on this slide. The current options for the disease work for a short period of time. L-DOPA, a drug that's been around for almost 50 years, deep brain simulation, but they have severe limitations. And I can say, for those of you in the audience who, like me, have had up close and personal experience with family members with this disease, it is a terrible disorder, and we're going to do something about it. So the beauty is that there is human proof of concept that park cell therapy for Parkinson's can work. We've got 30 years of fetal cell transplants in people that showed that under the right conditions, you could get a positive result, that you could make a measurable difference in a Parkinson's patient by putting in a dopamine-secreting neuron into their midbrain. It showed in long-term follow-up, sustained motor improvements, decades of control, weaning off L-DOPA. So it did work. Um, there, were, there were drawbacks I'll talk to you about, but there were five or six sites. You can see at that top plot there a distribution of responses. Pretty clearly, there were some embedded variables in those five sites there. Um, so, but what we learned from that, first of all, is that we can build a better approach that, that takes that proof of concept into account. The lessons learned from the fetal cell transplants is that cell therapy can work, but the outcomes varied because of the isolation protocols for the material, the surgical protocols, the patient selection, the immunosuppression. There were so many variables in those experiments, that's why there was such a distribution. Um, so, and obviously the ethical concerns of sourcing a material. So what we do at Blue Rock is a standardized, manufacture of a standardized clinical grade neuron that we believe is that essential protagonist, that cell. We have it already manufactured. It's off the shelf, cryopreserved. It's stable. The stability is fantastic. It's ready to go. We have improved clinical outcome measures. We've got a standardized surgical approach that takes advantage of the best stereotactic MRI guided, you know, wizardry that we can get today and a, a, a simplified and standardized immunosuppression protocol that we think points to a really exciting outcome for this. Um, and we expect that a single intervention will provide up to 10 years or some, at some point some significant benefit over a long period of time. That's what we're shooting for. 
So our program today is ready to go into the clinic. We will, in 2018, be treating patients. We have GMP product that is already manufactured and cryopreserved and banked, and that comes from Lawrence Studer's deep cell biology expertise in this space. We have really nice preclinical models that show engraftment of those cells and dopamine manufacture, and, and we can rescue animal models of chemically induced Parkinsonianism um, with those cells. The clinical trial, both the patient history and the actual patients we'll select is, is underway. I'll show you in the next slide. At the top, Atlas PD is a trial I'll give you details on in the next slide, but it is a natural history cohort that we're already recruiting. This is underway. We have many of these patients already recruited. They will serve as the basis for the trial. Um, the whole trial for Blue Rock will begin next year. It's a two-year trial with a one-year interim safety report and a two-year readout. The, um, the Atlas PD trial is led by Dr. Claire Henchcliffe. She is the Vice Chair of Clinical Research and Neurology at uh, Cornell. The study's underway. We'll enroll 100 natural history patients, and from those 100, we will select 10 for our first in human study. Those, 10, those 90 will serve as historical controls and a no intervention group. There's wearable devices. There's virtual doctor's office visits. Again, taking advantage of everything we've learned in this movement disorders space over the last 30 years. The first in human trial will begin next year. It's a single site, open label, phase one trial. Primary aim is, of course, safety, tolerability, but also graft survival as a secondary endpoint. Um, we have 10 Parkinson's patients, male and female, dose escalation, uh, single bilateral stereotactic injection, which we think is really going to be a powerful approach, and a, and a simplified immunosuppression protocol. And next year, um, we expect, if we have the fortune to be standing here telling, again, to speak, we'll tell you about our progress, about our first three patients and the progress that we've made there, which I'm just personally tremendously excited to, to be able to describe to get to that point. Um, we'll also hopefully be able to tell you, or we'll have time to tell you a little more about our cardiovascular program in pluripotent stem cell-derived cardiomyocytes for cardiac indications. That's led at the nucleus by Dr. Gordon Keller, um, who's arguably one of the most published scientists and researchers, translational researchers as well, in the stem cell space. Um, he has published on pretty much every cell type in mesoderm and endoderm from a pluripotent stem cell. And Dr. Michael Laflam, who has over 45 publications just looking at how to put cardiac myocytes derived from a stem cell into preclinical models. He's arguably the world's expert in that area. Um, and that, that most advanced program is, again, an allogeneic, fully differentiated and mature ventricular cardiomyocyte for congestive heart failure. We have some really exciting preclinical proof of concept data, electrical integration. We can improve ejection fraction. Again, leading to the suggestion, we're going to remuscularize the heart and we're going to make a measurable difference in the function of the heart. Um, Along with Gordon's expertise in making ventricular cardiomyocytes, uh, he can make pretty much at, under exquisite control any cell type in the heart, the, either the, the heart itself or the vascular system. An example is a publication last year on making um, SA node cells, so pacemaker cells. As an example, uh, making a biological pacemaker instead of a mechanical one. So, very exciting. So, you know, in summary, our tree here in mesoderm and endoderm driven by Dr. Keller involves things in cardiovascular, hematopoietic, cartilage, pancreatic and liver expertise, and, um, and in, in, in ectoderm with Dr. Studer, over 40 different cell types that he can um, exquisitely control the manufacture of, which we, have, we are prosecuting. And um, that represents this uh, tree of opportunity that these two founders have brought to us. We're, um, we will not reach this goal without partnering and without hiring a lot more really good people. It's pretty much our goal over the next year. I'd invite you to find one of those four people if you have either of those topics on your mind. Um, and you, know, you can also look at our new website we launched yesterday, which is uh, pretty exciting for some details on that. So again, an allogeneic platform, multiple therapeutic areas, two today, and you'll be hearing about our third soon at some point. Uh, we think some of the best talent in the industry and we're well positioned to execute on this really big vision. Um, and that's where I'll leave you is we dream about the difference we're going to make, and um, we really believe it. So thank you, and um, be happy to take questions in the 40 seconds. Thank you.